Hey, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe, back with some more Black Ops 2 info. So recently, I realized something that I don't think anyone else has even talked about yet. Well, that I've seen anyway, which I'm pretty surprised because it is a fairly big deal. And what I'm talking about is how score streaks are being implemented into Black Ops 2 with the creative class system. Well, actually how they are not being implemented, so let me explain. As we all know with Modern Warfare 3, Infinity Ward created the idea of having the option to construct a different strike package for every custom class you create. And I think that was a great idea. It really allowed you to customize each class for a specific play type. For instance, I had a class with low assault kill streaks, one with high, one with support, one with specialist, and so on. And I thought it was awesome. You know, I thought it was a really, really good feature to bring to the game. But sadly, it looks like Treyarch are sticking to their guns and going with the normal system that we have been used to and how it was with the original Black Ops with only one score streak loadout at a time. As you can see here, we are on the main menu screen, and you can see on the left we have create a class and we have score streaks. Whereas on Modern Warfare 3, we would only have create a class and we would select our strike package within the create a class menu itself. So if we click on create a class, you can see the custom classes with everything you have the ability to customize to your own liking. And I think it's pretty unfortunate, and I'm kind of confused why they would choose not to inherit what Infinity War did. Maybe they're scared that iFly would call them out on it, I don't know, but I do know the game is only in its beta phase, meaning there's still plenty of time for Treyarch to make changes to it, and hopefully integrate the score streaks into each separate custom class. But anyways guys, that's just my opinion on it, feel free to leave your own in the comments down below, but whether or not you agree with my stance or not, if you did enjoy the video, please take the time to give it a like rating, it makes me feel awesome inside, and just a little bit less worthless. Another gun guide will be up tomorrow, this time covering the snipers, so subscribe if you're new so you don't miss that. This was Uncle Kobe, I love you all. Peace.